So welcome to uh, Neuro Global uh, the seminar. So first, first I'd like to uh, introduce you what is the Neuro Global, and uh, so this is a uh, uh, the program for the uh, the graduate students and uh, who would like to be uh, the continue their work at uh, from master course to the PhD course. In, a, in the international environment in Tohoku University. So actually, so there is a 10, uh, the international joint graduate program in Tohoku University and our NeuroGlobal is one of them. So, and uh, this is a joint, uh, the collaborative uh, project between uh, the two graduate schools. One is graduate school life sciences and the other, our uh, the graduate school of medicine. So and uh, so the the system of the uh, international joint graduate program is that so we are collaborating with the uh, uh, international institute and universities, uh, which is shown in the uh, right bottom of uh, here like uh, the Zurich uh, the Technology University, University College of London, Norwegian University of Skull Science and Technology, NTNU, Maastricht University, uh, KU Leuven, and also uh, Leicester, Leicester University for the academic English course. So, and uh, so our program is covering a very wide range of the life sciences and also the neuroscience. So from genes, molecules, cells, to systems, brain imaging, behavior or environmental responses, et cetera, et cetera. So, and all the lectures and seminars will be de delivered in English because that this is an environment to, enter, uh, to encourage you to uh, experience more international uh, the, uh, the interaction among uh, the students and also the, uh, the, the some lecturers or the speakers. Okay, so the English base, this is one important thing. So first, uh, uh, I also uh, uh, I will later uh, explain to you in more detail. But uh, you first need to uh, get the exam, which is called quality examination. We uh, the abbreviation is QE. So starting from the QE zero, QE one, QE two. Okay. So and the good thing for you is there will be uh, financial support and assistance for studying at foreign institute, uh, which is uh, not only uh, this one, but also the uh, some institute with MOU with Tohoku University. So, so this is a course outline and the plea, so this is a, a kind of some very busy uh, the, uh, the slide. And uh, so we will provide you as uh, a PDF file. So, and uh, so this is uh, starting from the bottom and uh, uh, gradually you uh, step up, uh, up, up, up until the, the end of a uh, uh, PhD course. So uh, the, this uh, part is a neuro global program and uh, these are the, some overseas activities. Okay, so starting from the, this uh, the master course. Okay, so you need to take, uh, you need to uh, get the uh, kind of some unit in Japanese tangi, okay? So, and there are uh, various uh, the courses uh, the provided. So this one, maybe you can refer to the uh, so-called syllabus. It is more better for the explanation. And also uh, during the, your master course, you need to, uh, take uh, this academic English training course. This is very, very intensive course. Two weeks, uh, ten, uh, two weeks, which means that 10 days. And uh, so uh, every mm, uh, uh, three or four hours per day. And uh, so the teacher is a uh, English native and which is uh, the, coming from the Leicester University. So, and uh, the short overseas training, 
is um, a little bit the system is different between the graduate school of medicine and the graduate school of the life sciences. So this one, please ask the uh, staff uh, of, at the office of the each uh, graduate schools. Okay. So and uh, of course you are doing your research and on the on the job type of the work uh, during uh, in the, your uh, belonging laboratories. So. This is also a little bit different from the Graduate School of Life Sciences and the Graduate School of Medicine. So, and at the end of the master course, uh, uh, two, two years master course, so there'll be another uh, qualifying examination, which is called QE1. So, and this was uh, performed along with the master course thesis uh, defense and, uh, by each the graduate school. So, and uh, this was also uh, done in, 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 in English, okay? Oh, and so QE0 is of course, uh, as, uh, as, a, as a beginning to become uh, the, the uh, NeuroGlobal student, you need to get the exam QE0 in English, okay? So, and at the end of master course, you need to take uh, the QE1 and you need to pass, okay? So, and, uh, and then you are uh, entering the PhD course, and then you can do various activities in a more in a deeper level. And uh, so we provide you uh, the chance for the overseas training. So this will be uh, like a three to six months. Uh, it's depending on the, your host uh, home laboratory and also the host laboratory overseas. So in the case of the, how to say, uh, the, uh, the previous, uh, the, the students. So they uh, spent like uh, three months or so in a, a host laboratory in the uh, international, uh, the, uh, the overseas uh, uh, the institute and uh, spent various, uh, the very, uh, fruitful experience in the totally uh, foreign um, environment. Okay. And of course, you need to do the PhD study, which means that you need to do more exp exper uh, experiments and do analysis, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. So it, it will be, how to say, done in uh, each laboratory. So you need to uh, the, follow the interaction of your uh, the mentor or the supervisor or your professors, okay? So, and at the end of the PhD course, it will be like a three or four years. And uh, uh, so you need to take uh, the QE2. This is also performed along with the PhD defense required by each of the graduate school. So, and this QE2 also we uh, invite the uh, foreign evaluator, international evaluators. And uh, so it, the, the style is a little bit different from the Graduate School of Life Sciences and the Medicine, but you, you need to follow those kind of uh, uh, the style. So, and uh, when you get uh, uh, the graduated, you have a kind of, uh, how to say, uh, the, the certificate or some thesis, and which is uh, written uh, in which the, you, uh, it will be written that you are finished, uh, you completed this uh, the neuro global program. Okay, so that is our uh, the entire system. So, uh, of course, I will take uh, the questions and uh, after the uh, my presentation. So please ask me uh, any any questions. Okay, so again, so this is a requirement to emphasize. So. Uh, so most of the students uh, enter this program from at the level of the M uh, M1 master course uh, first uh, year. And then you can apply for QE0. Uh, uh, probably so the, this time, so you're uh, uh, entering the uh, autumn uh, term. So you will have uh, QE0 at uh, around, um, around, it's not February, I think, I'm sorry. So this will be uh, December, I think, I'm sorry. I, I, we will provide you the corrected version later. Okay, 
So, and then if you pass this QE0, you can become the pre-program student. And uh, so uh, in, in your case, uh, the program, uh, the, your financial support will start uh, from the next uh, April if you are entering the, uh, how to say, uh, the, uh, uh, so if you are entering the, this uh, autumn, or you can also uh, the, take the exam if you are a student from the spring, okay? But the, the, the financial support from the uh, next uh, April. So evaluation is done by the, your performance, uh, the scores during the undergrad scores, and uh, some communication skill in English, which will be, uh, how to say, the uh, you, you need to uh, submit a score of like uh, TOEIC, TOEFL, etc., etc. Okay, and uh, and also you need to write uh, your purpose for the application and your wish, etc., etc., which is also in, in English. And uh, and then we'll have an oral interview in English by like uh, four or five uh, the evaluator. Uh, who are the professor in Tohoku University Graduate School of Medicine and also the Life Sciences. Okay, so and uh, uh, at the end of the master course, you need to pass the QE1. So uh, this is also uh, the done in um, in English, and uh, also evaluation will be done by the to check the performance during the graduate schools and also the uh, your. Uh, how to say discussion uh, at the, the uh, oral interview in English. So, and then uh, if you pass this QE1 and then you enter the doctor course, you can have a chance to uh, oversee training like a three to six months uh, during D1 to D3. So you need to negotiate, you need to discuss very deeply uh, with your professors and also your uh, host professors as well. So fortunately, so such kind of meeting can be done online now. So it's it's, it's more easy now, uh, but anyway, so this is uh, how to say, you need to choose some laboratories from the universities or institutes with MOU, Mem Memorandum of Universities, uh, which means that we need, so, uh, so we, uh, you need, um, we assign some universities or institutes that that will be a very good in uh, the collaboration. So please choose laboratories from these uh, the universities. Okay, so that is a very important and the mandatory uh, uh, thing. So your uh, the travel fee and also the accommodation can be supported by our NeuroGlobal program. So you can experience by uh, so those kind of uh, international uh, atmosphere by uh, um, becoming a, uh, the neuroglobal student. But to do that, you of course need to uh, obtain uh, the, some credit. So which means that you need to attend the, uh, the some seminars or lectures provided from our Tohoku University graduate uh, the neuroglobal program. Okay, so this is very important. Otherwise, we can't support, we can't guarantee your quality or the, your skill. So that, that is a very important thing. So finally, by passing QE2, which will be held along with the PhD defense completion. So, and then uh, you get the, the certificate uh, that you are completing the NeuroGlobal as to, together with the, your PhD degree uh, the status, okay? So here I put the academic English course, uh, which will be uh, done by the, <clears throat> uh, the, the, the professors in the lector, lector university. So this is another important, uh, uh, how to say, the intensive lecture course. So to, this year, which will be uh, held in, in September, and uh, the lecturer is uh, uh, Menno Witte, who is a professor at NTNU, Norwegian University. Okay, so, and uh, we provide lots of uh, seminars and lectures. And uh, so the next one will be held in the, in, at the end of uh, November. And uh, the, the, she is a professor at Caltech 
uh, whose uh, name is uh, Marianne Bronner, uh, and she is very, very famous in the field of the neural crest, uh, the neural uh, developmental neurobiology. Okay, so and uh, this is a report, and uh, oh, I'm sorry. So this is so this is a report by uh, the. Um, one of uh, the, my students who graduated just this uh, the, uh, the September, and uh, so at the, as when she leaves, she uh, uh, the left her message uh, as a alumni, and uh, so please read uh, on the on uh, the article on our website. You can uh, search by typing the neuro global and blah, blah, blah. And then you can come up with uh, this site, okay? So, and uh, uh, the guidance for the application is uh, now, I uh, have to say, also the put on the, the home, uh, our, our website. So please check very carefully for this one, okay? And uh, of course, we uh, have a mirroring uh, the homepage or website in Japanese as well. So if you are more comfortable to use the Japanese, of course, you can refer to the Japanese website as well. So, and uh, we'll uh, try, uh, we'll have a, uh, how to say, the next uh, the orientation seminar after we have uh, the uh, Q, uh, new uh, QE zero past students, new uh, pre uh, program students will be determined, and then we will have this kind of some uh, the gathering. And uh, so we would like we also invite uh, the uh, current neuro pro, uh, neuro global program students as well, and uh, so have a kind of some some gathering, probably online in this case, or sometime uh, the or will be held in the on-site. It depends on the uh, COVID issue. Okay, so so this is uh, uh, the last year's, uh, the, the end of our uh, year uh, gathering. So the NeuroGlobal Exchange Meeting, and it was held in uh, the last year in December 21. We hope that this kind of thing will be held in um, a hybrid or at least on-site this year as well. So please join us uh, if you have interest.